this just for your pleasure while you get to stare at me. I've lost my mind. Oh, man, I'm like, I don't even know why. I can't, like, camera. I just can't camera. I'm, like, the worst. Went to uh, school for this for nothing. Mm, 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 mm. Do I have this, like, locked or something? No. I hate you, Twitch app. You kind of suck. A lot. Go sideways. Click on my thing. Don't turn this down. Turn it sideways. There we go. I guess I could put like a going live thing on the, on the Twitter, but I don't feel like it. Sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. with the breads. I'm trying to remember what goes on a band me besides like the veggies. I feel like there's got to be like a vinaigrette or something. Could be wrong. I meant to check that out. I haven't had a band me in a bad me. A band me in a long time. Oof. I'm get old. Look at the chin. Look at this flop of skin. What is that? This is why you shouldn't look at yourself while you're actually recording. Oh, thank you, Twitch. Since I use the Twitch app now to look at my chats. Yeah. I don't even know why I'm like, looking at that. I guess I could use, like... I'm sure there's, like, other apps I could use. I actually... I don't care. Oh, you know what I should do? Some of that, uh... Wi-Fi. Why dofu? Uh, why tofu? Because I had tofu in the fridge, so that's why we're using tofu. Also, I'm old now, so I have to watch my cholesterol. <laughs> I'm old now, so I have to eat healthy and stuff, unfortunately. Or at least that's what the doctor said. They were like, you're old and fat and you need to like do something about it. And I was like, all right, all right. This right. I, so I pre made the dough <laughs> for all of that plant based crap. Yeah, you know, I, I would li love to try the keto thing, but I also remember that my grandfather used to eat nothing but bacon and he ended up having like several like bypass surgeries, and I'm really afraid of surgery, so whatever works. <laughs> Hey, the fanged, how are you? I don't know what I'm doing with myself here. Oh yeah, so this smells really good. It just started it just started rising not too long ago. This towel is like super cold for some reason, even though I have my oven on and everything's really warm. So yarn. Uh I had like an idea of doing these in my food processor, but I feel like the um my sh my hand shredder would be better. Shredder would be better. Terrified is when they cut open your ribs open. See, so like with like most heart open heart surgeries, they just go from behind and then they like pry open your ribs to get to your heart. Except for like, like my grandmother actually had heart surgery. They went from the chest open because it was like I think a different like she had a blockage in like an artery or something. It wasn't really a heart surgery more like a herder or, well then that's what a bypass is anyway but uh just like the location she had to have so she had wires in her chest where is it oh there it is i don't know what i'm 
doing first. I don't know if I want to marinate this tofu or what. Blake's cringing is thinking about it. Yeah, that's like my biggest fear. You know, like I'm kind of a, I'm kind of afraid of heights. And I'm kind of, you know, eh, everybody's afraid of something, but surgery, any sort of, well, I've had like surgery on my teeth, like to have like wisdom teeth removed and that wasn't like bad. Um, but any sort of internal surgery where it's like this, you know, heart, gut, liver, yeah, it scares the shit out of me. Especially when my grandpa was like, um, he had, uh, what, during one of his surgeries, they didn't put him under all the way, and he woke up before they started cutting him, and he was like, hey guys, I can feel that. And they were like, oh shit. I'm like, great. I don't know if I want to marinate this or not. I have a lime. I have a lime. Oh, well, I want to drain it. I'm going to cut it into... Why am I sticky? I don't like being sticky. You find your needles that you squirrel and I get a shot? <laughs> you, just go, it's not... you know, I uh, psych myself up sometimes with shots. I don't, not with shots. Shots I can deal with. Like, oh, shot, whatever. Uh, getting blood drawn. Um, I have to, like, actively, like, go to my happy place. Because I'm cool with seeing other people's blood. I'll be like, oh, that's gross. Whatever. You know, but, like, Seeing my own blood coming out of my body makes me want to faint, which I've never fainted before, but I've come really close. Like, um, yeah. It's a weird, <laughs> really weird thing. Like, like nosebleeds freak me out because I'm like, I'm going to die. All my blood is draining from my body, mainly because I've known people who have died from nosebleeds. If you're on blood thinners, you need to go to the hospital if you have a nosebleed. Because you will die. <laughs> Welcome to <laughs> Three Million Ways to Die. Let me do this for my shit. Anyone else is get that away from me. Yeah, pretty much. Like, I don't want to be blood on. Like, obviously, because that's gross. Like, who wants... Well, except for people who have, like, vampire blood fetishes, I suppose. They want... They want blood on them. Because they're weird. Sorry if anybody out there has that fetish. I guess I shouldn't be king shaming. But it's a, it's a dangerous fetish. That's how you get hep C. <laughs> I don't know if this tofu is any good. This is Nasoya organic tofu. And I think it was, I only got this because it was the only one they had available. And I feel like it might be a little crumbly wumbly. It looks good though. Sometimes I feel like the uh, this brand like has a lot of water in it. Too much water. It looks like feta. It looks like feta. It kind of Crumbles like feta. It does not taste anything like feta. It tastes like nothing. That's why I like tofu, because you can just put a flavor on it. Pure, 100% protein. But I'm not really into beans, and I'm trying to get into beans, so. Oh well. Oop. I'm gonna probably dry it off some more. You know, it's like dry it and then so I like single so I fry it and then let it sit and then marinate it and then fry it again. I am not a connoisseur of the the, the vegan ways here. I just I love veggies because they have flavor. But uh 
My specialty is pork. And I feel bad because I've been trying to not eat so much bacon lately. Which is probably why my cholesterol has been so high. I'm going to probably do this. I cut it. I think I like cut a strip. Mmm, bean curd. I was just tofu nero that is running away for zombies he's trying to see. <laughs> tofu, tofu, tofu. It's cheap. So if you're broke and you need protein, I mean, there's also beans. Hamburger's not cheap, y'all. Beef is, like, super expensive. Comparative to, like, other... I mean, fish is on the super expensive end if you like um pork is cheap chicken's cheap beans are cheaper anything made of beans tempeh is kind of expensive i have some i keep it around occasionally for like you know i like it in um hash if you know Sometimes they'll even, like, cook it with, like, bacon. I'm not, like, against mixing my proteins. Tomorrow I'm going to make pomini. I have finally decided pomini. Also, tomorrow is Fat Tuesday. And around here we call it punchki day. So we eat punchkis, which are, like, jelly filled donuts. I didn't place any orders for any in typical fashion. And no, I'm not making them because that is a nightmare. Fuck that shit. Someone else can do it. Pancake day for you guys, huh? Pancake. Have you ever had a punchki, though? Do they make them in... I know, like, uh, England's got, like, a lot of Polish people there. Because I, I know it's, like, it's very... They don't even really do it in Poland. Poland is just, you know, it's Fat Tuesday, so you just... Eat. <laughs> Puchki, yeah. It's a jelly, it's like a giant jelly filled donut. Um, it's not a jelly donut, because those things are weak. It's like a jelly donut on steroids, right? Yeah, Puchki are awesome. Or as some other people like to call them patchkies. Yeah, well, that's wrong. I know. I don't know who calls them patchkies. People, people who, the same people who spell, uh, pronounce euros as gyros. <laughs> I don't. Is that right? I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just lining this up. I feel like maybe. I'm trying to figure out how I want to season this. Slow off. <laughs> so is it aluminum or aluminium? That's another one. I've heard in uh, England, al aluminium, right? Oh. Some people pronounce it. It's aluminum. Oh, shit. What's up? Hi. No, it's okay. I'm gonna go to the fridge. Never mind. Okay. Okay. What do I want to season this with? Oh, okay. So, aluminium. See, we we pronounce it aluminum. Aluminum. <laughs> Is this funny? Uh, okay. Like, I guess we'll put a little cake on it. Good with this actually with the flavors. 
even though it's not like canon to Vietnam. So, canon. I love this stuff. It's just basically turmeric and turmeric. I don't know why I'm just like not just drenching it. <sighs> I got some sea salt. Yeah, I use a shaker. Just because it's I'm at home. I don't have like you know space to throw salt. North UK pronounces L's correctly when not starting with an L. South pronounces L or L L as W. Yeah, I was like actually like watching this um lady explain like accents, and that's like a like a like a London thing or like a Cockney. Riverbank, what's it called? I don't know something like that. Yeah, everything. Like, um, yeah, with the W's through. <laughs> it was a very, like, informative, um, thing. I wish I could find it. It was, like, really long. I didn't actually get to... It was, like, um... <laughs> it's a very informative YouTube thing that I saw late at night, and then I didn't get to finish it because I was going to pass out, so. By very late at night, I mean, like, 9 o'clock. So late. So very late. I've been trying to get up at 5.30. And Gerald's got L's in it. Alright, I'm just going to let these sit for a while. Because our buns aren't even ready yet, so... We're just going to take a time. So they, they want me to punch this down three times, supposedly. I don't know. We'll try our best. We just want a crispy crust. That's all I care about. I had one fan me that was really good in Lansing at this place that I can't even remember um, what it was called. It's probably not even there anymore. But it was so crispy. It was so good. And I was like, I, I just want the bread. The bread was just so freaking good. And let these sit over here. Um, the salt will probably drain out more of the liquid. So we'll have to probably pat it dry again. Okay, let's take a look at our bread. I'm gonna punch it down. I feel like, okay, so I was being experimental because they said use a low protein dough flour in one recipe and another recipe was like add wheat gluten to it. And I'm like, I can't afford wheat gluten. That stuff's like $11 a pound. And I was thinking about getting some for seitan, but I couldn't find any in the store. So I was like, okay, screw it. We're going to go with this recipe. And they say to, like, you can put a little bit of rice flour in it if you want, but it's not necessary. You don't need rice flour for bammy rolls. They're basically just baguettes. And, like, but they, then I also read in the same article, they were like, you can put a little bit in if you're working with King Arthur flour, which I wasn't. But I, I was like, you know what, I'm going to experiment. So I put, like, you know, a small amount of rice flour in here because I just wanted to use it up because I had like half a cup so I was just like fuck it <laughs> let's use this up so yeah why do I have this like this scratch thing right here it's just like now it looks like a a weird bite and growth thing I'm dying well anyway yeah deflate and then we'll come back to this in like 10 or 15. Yeah. Maybe I'll flip it. This is a very nice dough. Very yeah. nice. 
I love it when I make like a good dough because sometimes I'm like I make too dry doughs or I'll not usually too wet. Everything comes out too dry, in my opinion. Or I over or I underwork it so the gluten doesn't really get like good. <laughs> Okay. Hmm. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut everything. Or I'm going to cut half of it. Oh, is this going bad already? I just bought it yesterday. What the heck? What the heck a roni? It's got wax all over it. Alright, so I'm going to shred these guys. And slice these dudes. And then put them in this bowl. And then I'm going to make a dressing. I feel like I, that's what I want. That's what I want. I, I'm just going for what I just do. What feels right in the kitchen. I just, I just, I just. I'm an artist. <laughs> All right, might as well go with these first. I'm gonna peel this. I should wash it because it's kind of waxy and weird. And Lord knows what picked up in the store. not safe for children. Um, I should get my veggie cleaver out. Uh, you know, every time I use my knives, I feel so ashamed because I really need to, to sharpen these bad boys. I really do. Freaky. <laughs> um, other than using that word, I went used to comedy way of saying it. Yeah. I, uh, I should start, like, coming up. Well, I, I used to. I used to be less, um, whatever. Um, I meant to wash this, dude. Oh, wait, I did. Um, I used to be a bit more creative with my swears, because I just didn't like swearing a lot, and, well, because I used to swear a lot, because, you know, working in kitchens, so I'd come up with creative ways to swear, so when I was, like, around family and stuff, they didn't think I was, like, a completely horrible person. Eh, it's probably good. Oh, wow. You're very hard. <laughs> For sure. I think I used to be like son of a biscuit. I would just come up with like creative like ways of swearing so I could just I meant to do only half, but oh well. Because <laughs> the guy who wrote it, he couldn't spell, I guess. cucumbers because I never eat them. They just either get big on the vine or I'm stuck with like 20 of them. And I would pickle them. But then by the time I usually get to pickle them, they're like bad. Oh, they do not. done with all this stuff before we actually, you know, get to this stuff. I thought about, like, making more stuff for my lunches, but I already made, like, a soup yesterday, and then I, like, I don't know. I have, 
like this cob that I smoked if you looked at my Instagram. And I'm probably just gonna pack that up and with some like mayo and stuff. There's a live show, he says, look at the bar, and there's a note attached, some strange childish hair goes. E D's bra. <laughs> Listen, I haven't watched like live TV in forever. Everything is like Netflix now. You guys have to pay for your like. Don't they like come knocking on your door? Like they no, they yet you haven't paid. It's like they don't. Is it shut off like cable? Cause here we have like PBS. We do have like public like you know instead of Eddie's Bar. <laughs> Yeah, it's TV license. And we just have like Netflix and cable. Like there is free free TV kind of sort of, but you need to get like a special dish for it. Well, not dish. Um, antenna for it if you want, but you only get like four channels. Otherwise, you get cable. And then you get like a bajillion and there's nothing on ever because it's awful. But you know, like we have this sub. We have a Pluto TV though. I wonder if that's worldwide. I think that's a good size. I don't want them to be too thin. Netflix, Hulu, Pluto TV, Tubi, and um, Disney Plus, and I never watch any of it. Not to mention YouTube, Twitch. So much content. So much content, absolutely no time. I think the most thing I uh, things I watch is like YouTube. Like, I think I, I mentioned in the, the Discord, I watch... Um, Bald and bankrupt. I would love to do a collaboration with that guy. Call me. Call me. So much content on YouTube. I want to start putting YouTube content out there. I mean, I have ideas. I just have no time. It's like just when you think you have time, you get the flu. You get cold. You get your period. Someone dies. Someone's born, whatever. <laughs> Fortnite vids. You know, I don't even like bother. I don't even like, I don't know. I don't even bother with like a half the stuff that's in that side of YouTube. I watch, like I said, Bald and Bankrupt. Um, because if I've seen all of his stuff. Mark Weens, if you're into food stuff. Um, Weens. Yo! It's Madame Vanessa. Yeah, I know. You came, and I'm actually making, like, vegetarian stuff today. And we're talking about YouTube. Who else do I watch? I watch... Um, I'm mostly just, like, food stuff. I watch a couple drama channels, because you gotta have some drama. Very excited. Excellent. I'm also making the bread. <laughs> I didn't send you who with that, did I? <laughs> I'm trying to figure out who's my, who's my favorite YouTuber besides Bald. So it would just be like Mark Weens. Heh, <laughs> Weens. Um. Oh, H3. He's a little weird, but... He's a little, like... His stuff is getting more, like... Um... Maybe, like, early 2000s... What's that guy's name? New York 
Observe this, Jackie. Very famous. Jewish, big hair. Uh, whatever. Had a movie. Man, I'm having a stroke. That's been my day today. <laughs> this is going to be delicious. So I already, like... these like sitting here stern howard stern yeah he's getting very howard sterny with his content but here's my tofu i seasoned it with jamaican curry spice because i love that stuff and it goes really well with tofu three multiplayer has like what two animals the chickens kangaroos merged into one what they all run around like headless chickens, and then when it comes to fighting, jumping around the pink. like a kangaroo squad. Yeah, I'm excited. I, I just want my bread to be nice and crispy. That's all I care about. I just want nice, crispy breads. Uh, I don't know what to do with these. I was just saying, I was saying. <laughs> I'm just going to put it over here. I guess it's not going to be 100% vegan, though, because I'm going to put fish sauce. But you can make vegan fish sauce, and I have made it before, with mushrooms. You take a bunch of dried mushrooms and um, soy sauce, and I think a little bit of marin or just water, and you kind of just let it marinate for days, and it makes a really good uh, fish sauce substitute. But you only need like a drop or two. So rice water, vinegar. Fish sauce, lime juice, and Hello, Gary the Bear. Veggies. Yes. We have our veggies. Veggies today, meat tomorrow. Kind of, sort of. More like noodles. <laughs> I saw food and now I'm here. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so I've got some rice wine vinegar. Or rice. Like, rice vinegar. Yes. Food. Food. Just like maybe a little squirt of this fish sauce. Like I said, you can make a vegan if you, you can make your own fish sauce, like I said, with dried mushrooms. It's super simple. Or if you have, like, a fish allergy, or you just don't like fish. It's, it's an interesting smell. Let's put it that way. And, um... And then, I want to put uh, a little bit of sugar in this. This is kind of how you make, like, a quick pickle. Kind of like how you make a Vietnamese quick pickle. Super simple. There we go. You can, if you want to do more like a Japanese quick pickle, omit the fish sauce and add a tad bit of soy sauce. Just add it to whatever veggies you want. And then uh, it's a quick, well, it's a quick pickle. So it'll be like light. And refreshing it won't be as like you know heavy as something that's been brined for like in a jar for months that's kind of annoying screeching sounds i'm gonna try to let that dissolve for a minute okay i think that's good Yes, I don't want too much fish, fish sauce because then it'll be kind of too funky. You don't want it to be too funky. We got cilantro just hanging out here. Oh yeah. Okay, I'm gonna put the cilantro back in the fridge so it stays not wilty. I don't want it to get too wilty. One last thing I want to go do. Do 
I'm going to add half this line. The other half I'm going to put on top of the... I think I'm going to put it on top of the tofu. And then I have the shallot I'm going to cook. But I want to keep the shallot, I think, not pickled. Held that for a minute. Why mix fish sauce with the vinegar and the sugar? Oh, um, because I'm making like a dressing. Or that's kind of like the pickle. So, to make a pickle out of anything is just like, I could put a little salt in here too. Um, it's just like. Oh, you're confused. That's okay. Um, and I put a little lime juice in there. So, like, just to make, like, a quick pickle is just, like, vinegar, salt, and sugar or honey optional. I mean, I could get, like, really, like, technical with ratio. But we're not, like, you know, canning, so... I'm going to leave it out to the side because I don't want it to like marinate for too long and I don't know how long it's going to take, no. so. A homemade teriyaki, yeah. I always make my teriyaki at home. I think this will be enough for us. Let's put this one back in the fridge. Yeah, teriyaki is easy. Um, it's like soy sauce, mirin, sugar. Um, and I like to put ginger and garlic in it as a marinade and then you can like always cook it down and thicken it up a little bit if you want I, yeah i can't stand this being tucked in i don't know what's up yeah it does taste better than the stuff because they just load it with like corn syrup basically <laughs> in the stores it's just like thickened it's just like soy sauce added to corn syrup so it's like super thick You don't want too much soy. You want like it's got to be like the right balance because too much soy, it's too salty, like too sweet. Then you're not getting the umami. Like it's like a balance. All right, let's see. Got questions down again? I think it's ready for another punch. So they want us to punch it down three times. I think we'll like let this go for like another oh we'll let this go till about 6 30. back at it so this way you're kind of like you know making more air pockets yeah. in a way beat it i love punching down dough it's like so satisfying and it's like smooth and it's just it's so like so good Love it. Understand how Asian restaurants make their rice look so fluffy and sweet. Rice cookers, uh, rinse your rice. Seriously, rinse your rice before you um, do it. I always do the two to one method because I know a lot of rice, they say use, you know, uh, one, one and a half to one cup kind of. I always do two to one. Um, and it really depends on the type of rice. Like, I have this, like, Zona Masori rice that's like this Indian rice and it always comes out fluffy um sushi rice is very like or short grain rice like if you're doing Japanese rice that is like super you just have to make sure to rinse it real good before you cook it cook it I always cook it in a rice um cooker and then once it's done like once the beeper goes off you take it out and you cool it you gotta like cut it and cool it because you, you don't want to serve it hot. You want to serve it kind of like warm anyway. So you kind of keep it warm. <laughs> Use a rice cooker. Yeah, me too. I love my rice cooker. Yeah, yeah. Always. Yeah, so, um, it's just like, it's 
comes out perfect every time. But like rinsing your rice, try that. And like I said, like if it, it depends on the type of rice too, because you have your short grain, there's medium grain, there's long grain, there's different types of long grain, where they're um, uh, like your jasmines and your bas basmatis that are um, stored, like they're kind of like scented rices. Um, I feel like I always have a problem with, I think, like, basmati rice, actually. I never, like, have, like, if I follow, like, the directions on the packet, it's always, it always comes out bad. You can steam vegetables. Yeah, I know. I love my rice cooker so much. And I'm actually not using it today. I think I used it, like, twice on, like, <laughs> on both streams last week. Oh, why am I dicing this? Oh my god. I'm so used to like dicing stuff. Can't use this new. No. I'll just put it in a thing. I got it. I have the other one. And it'll probably be enough anyway. We're classy here. We have our Avengers. Got 10 minutes. And then we can form our bread and then let it rise some more. <laughs> and then wait for it to bake. So it's going to be kind of one of those waiting streams. I feel like. Boop. Back in here. Let's try this again. Okay, I don't want to like get rid of all that. I know like Jacques Pen says like peel as much of an onion off as you can, but these aren't onions, and I am very light on having these, and I don't have any onions per se to back back up. So. I have to go to the store and get onions and soy milk. Onions and milk. That sounds delicious together, doesn't it? You ever like watch those, um, not watch, you ever see like bad food porn? It's like something I feel like would be on that bad food porn sort of site thing. I'm like the worst with this. Can I pull a knife? Onions and milk. How to prepare. First, dice the onion. Keep the skins on for extra flavor. Next, pour milk on top of them in bowl. Enjoy. Oh, that's step three, sorry. It's good for you. My girlfriend keeps showing me this uh, thing where this girl is eating, this like little girl is eating an onion because she thought like, she, she insisted that this onion was an apple, I believe is how the story goes. So she eats the onion raw, but instead of being like, oh, this isn't an apple, she like is so stubborn that she eats the, the onion. She's like crying. Not crying, but like tearing up, you know? While eating this onion. It's pretty awesome. Okay, so. I think if I want to do. I'm gonna get that out and ready. And then I'm gonna get this pan out and ready. In a few minutes, I'm so excited. Oh, I 
Okay. Another thing we need to do, though, is I need a I need one of my glass pans. And I need, like, oh, I don't have it. I don't have anything. But, um, so I got myself an electric kettle. Guys, I'm so excited. I'm like, I'm an adult now. I have an electric kettle. Um, but I need, man, I used to have like a mister thing. Oh, man. For my plants. And I think it didn't have any... Oh man, I need like a way to spritz these baguettes with water. Uh, I don't know. It's so weird how bread works, cause it's like the more like you know water and humid it is, the crispier it's gonna come out. It doesn't make any sense at all, but that's just uh, how it works. How it works. Maybe I can use a baby bottle. Um, I'm at the end of my rope here. Oh, that's like it's just like I don't know. Uh, I can probably use this thing. Let's see. Let's see. Eh, kind of. It's a two. It's two joy for my child. I don't know. Hmm. 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 It might work actually. It might work. It just might. Alright, so I'm boiling my water before I put it in the pan because if I put cold water in the pan and then put it in this oven, that's going to be up to about 450 degrees once I get done, which I probably should just do that right now, get it ready. It might mess up my dish and I don't want it to explode because that would be not fun to have burning shards of glass and water all over my oven. So we're not going to do that. Instead, we're going to put that hot water in, put it in the, the bottom, and then we're going to put our bread on the top. That'd be totally hardcore, though. No. <laughs> it, it wouldn't be fun. I mean, I guess it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. I had once, like, I put, like, bread in this, like, glass dish like this. Well, that, it, you know, on my stove top to heat up. Just, like, with the oven on. But, like, see, you know how, like, this thing has a vent right here. That's so hot that it exploded the dish with the dough in it. At least it was easy to clean up. You just had it. But all my dough was gone. So, that sucked. That was a long, long time ago. Those are really nice dishes because they were like, you could use them yeah, I know. Like technically the on top of um, I guess double boilers and stuff like that, but they're like see-through, so it's pretty cool. So you can see. <laughs> sure, sure. That happened to you too. <laughs> yeah. Well, the thing is, it was like Pyrex, so it shouldn't have yeah, done that, but it did nice. anyway. So. Oh my god. I don't know if it's just yeah, like the, gosh. the dough in there, but anyway, I just use metal but you have to kind of even be like weird about the metal ones because sometimes they get too hot and then your bread will like cook on the bottom all your chicken aww that sucks 
That is like the that's the worst. I mean, at least with like bread, like flour is pretty cheap, but like chicken's kind of not as cheap. Okay, it is six thirty. It is six thirty. It has risen enough, I think. Oh, it's not like perfect. I guess I could have. I could probably let it rain. Like almost all the dimples are gone. It was much more dimplier. Hello, Grey Dusk. Hence why I'm a vegetarian. The chicken betrayed me. <laughs> I don't know if I could ever go full vegetarian. I I try to eat mostly vegetarian. Anyway. It is oddly enough, like, I feel like it's actually cheaper to eat vegetarian. But they always, like, try to push that, like, why you shouldn't eat vegetarian. It's like, it's bad for you, and it's actually expensive. It's like, food is expensive. Alright, I want to cut these, I think. I'm going to make four rolls. This is not a good knife for this. And our water is blue. Boiled. This is the knife. This is the knife we're gonna be using. Cause it's like the only sharp knife left. Yeah, you can go. Yeah. Why and how is everyone? I everyone is good. So far. Could do like a semolina bottom or something, but no. I probably should. I if I my scale wasn't broken, I could have weighed these properly, and then you know, because I mean, obviously this one's like this one's about the same. This one's a little heavier. I just stick that on there. Everything is a balance. Yes. Oh, you talking about like veggie and stuff? Going veggie? You know. Kind of, I feel like, you know, is this going to be too small? I'm trying to get the shape. This could be my baby one. You're like, make sure to shape it right. I'm somewhat decent at shaping bread, except for today, apparently. Yeah, I try to balance everything. You know, I try to what I try to do is I, I try to eat mostly plant based. Um, and then I'll fill in. So my thing is if I do eat meat, I try not to eat meat more than once a day. I try to save my meat meals for I don't know. I'm not a I'm, so it's like, you know, when I've done baguettes, this is how I'll do baguettes. But they have these like tapered edges, like a what they call a bolero, so bolios. I can't believe that though. Like I can't believe that they are like that. Oh no. I didn't do that right. Alright, so I'm gonna open this. That's very hot. Just in case y'all wondering. I think they get a nice zucchini in there, though. Okay. I was thinking, like, do I want to put, like, semolina on the bottom or something like that so they don't stick? Or, like... Hmm. Oh, and I organized this already, like, seven 
15 times. We'll just use, we'll just use this yellow cornmeal. It's like how you make pizza, right? What is this kind of food? Um, it is kind of Vietnamese. It's more like a bastardization of Vietnamese food. And that, um, I'm not Vietnamese. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> and I don't know how to shape a bun. Oh, the rude word earns you a, <laughs> a bit. Thank you. I, that's a first. I've, I've never gotten a bit for a rude word. So eventually I need to slice these. But in my training as a chef, I kind of slice it towards the end after it's risen. How do you think Gordon Ramsay's no. makes his money? From putting his name on restaurants that he like makes the menu and runs. Oh, TV, guest appearances, uh, having your name branded. Um, <laughs> probably, I'm sure he sells like cutlery and random crap like that, right? All about the other rude words. Well, that's a, that is a thing too. I actually advise my dietitian to go full sugar, fat, and salt ca on calories. Yeah, but um, if your body needs it, like uh, when my boyfriend, you know, he was going through cancer treatments, they told him like, eat a ton of salt because your blood sugar or your blood pressure is so low. And they're like, just binge on salt. So, you know. I really like depends. Like my doctor wants me to lose weight and exercise and all this stuff. I'm like the opposite. It's like what most people have to go oh, through when they hit fifty. I'm like thirty six, so <laughs> memes such as an idiot sandwich and where's the lamb sauce? <laughs> I think I like the um there's like, oh, oh, there's so many good ones, but I can't think of it like, it's like, it's so raw, it's like, it's walking or something like that. I used to actually work in a place that was like Hell's Kitchen, but without the humor. Um, it was a nightmare, being like totally berated all the time. Um... It was so much fun. Actually, I tried out for Hell's Kitchen. I think I mention this every so often. Uh, I got to the second interview, but I, I didn't take good. To, I didn't take well to the coaching, where they make you, um, they make you kind of like, they try to get you to say things like, and they try to get you to do things like, what would you do if someone said some sh talked some shit about you? And I'm like, I don't know. What do they say? Like, gotta be more. more specific I don't I don't know I don't really care <laughs> and they're like you wouldn't get into a fight with them or you wouldn't call them a dirty slut like no I don't know who is this person like are they really that bad like did they like throw a hot pan at my head <laughs> they were like trying to get me to say the f word like constantly and it's like no it's just like I don't know it's not organic like Oh, it's like, well, I, don't, you can't make me, like, say the F word. Like, I don't know. It's just weird. This is really weird. But that's just how reality shows work, because it's not real. It's kind of scripted. Cause, so they'll be like, you know, they'll get these personalities, and then they'll try to, like, pit people against each other, and they try to, like, see where it's going. And then they kind of, like, fit, like, the episode to that, and then they'll edit. So, like... They'll edit out all the boring stuff and just keep the, uh, you know, 
whatever conspires and then they'll be like well if these two people look like they're gonna do it so like let's like in the next episode like try to get them to do it or something like that like and they purposely on hell's kitchen at least they purposely actually they like made you like sign waivers and say like you know that you had like good mental health they were like have you ever been like uh you know incarcerated or have you ever been like um in a mental institution, do you see a therapist? Are you on any meds? Um, because, like, one person, like, I think tried to kill Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> so, and then one person actually did kill themselves, but that was, like, completely different. Like, that had nothing to do with the show. And they kind of, like, I think slipped into some, uh, drugs or something. So we're basically waiting for these to rise a little more. Our final, our final ri- rising. While I eat some cucumbers, which I knew this was gonna happen. We'll give it like ten minutes. It shouldn't take much longer. I tried to start these earlier on stream, and I, I don't know, it wasn't happening. But you know what? I can dice this up. I can totally dice this up. Oh, I'm not dicing this up. Constantly moving and shaking. Right. Bar sleep, so I weren't. Yeah, yeah, exact. Yeah, I can see that. So you have to like make up for your kept caloric intake. Makes sense. Yeah, but they want you to, like, they want you to eat. But, well, like, they'll probably be, like, they'll start and be, like, we want to eat anything, but they're not going to tell you to eat, like, you know, fast food constantly. You know. But it depends on how, like, much weight you've lost. So they might be okay with that for a while. <laughs> Where they'll be, like, probably burning off so quickly. I wish I could burn stuff. My metabolism is so slow right now. It's ridiculous. I don't even know why. Uh, I guess because I'm old. But. But yeah, it's like a kind of same example. <laughs> Not really. Is it uh, all the people who like are in Antarctica, you know, doing like research and stuff. They also, they have to like increase their caloric intake by like double just because it's so cold up there that they just burn more calories. It's crazy. Well, my dishes are clean. Oh, I can't put them away because I have all my cameras where they go. <laughs> the dishes go. Just in case. Is it hazy in there, or am I contacted? Ooh. Ooh. I'm going to slice it. And break. Okay. Yeah, I several different ways. So yeah, but they're sliced. Do you want someone else to take care of her? Gotcha. I just hope I have like enough room for when they rise when they hit the, the hit the thing. Oh. Instead of spraying you know, the cool thing about culinary school was that they had these ovens that had, like, steam injectors, so you could just be like, boop, and it would be like, psh. And then you had, like, perfect bread. But, like, doing this from home was kind of a pain in the butt. And I don't want to start these until then. These actually drying up. So 
Well, they're not going to be too horrible. Everything smells so good. Seriously, I'm excited. I just hope that my bread turns out good. That's all I care about. Everything else I could just probably like, make like a bowl. We have like a salad bowl. I usually only do like the single punch down and then roll out method. So this is kind of an interesting take. But then again, I don't know why I even followed this recipe because I didn't even like use the actual like, I deviated from it from the beginning, so. But the, everything else like the, as far as like the, the steaming and all that stuff doesn't even come from this recipe, so. And it was on like Viet World, uh, something, Viet Kitchen, like a blog. But like, like I said, like it's not even like the right recipe, so. Because I can never follow recipes exact. I'm crazy. So. Oh, you have? Yeah, I hear he's like a really cool dude. Like, I mean, the show is obviously like a character um, thing. Uh, I know like in England, like, I mean, he is like on his shows, he's still kind of brash in some situations, but he's much nicer. I mean, it's more like how we have master chef here but like hell's kitchen here is just i don't know i'm sure you probably get, get it over there it's uh just him just yelling <laughs> but i used to like the f word he's always very like fast i have to talk very fast which is a very chef thing to do because it's like you gotta talk fast because you got tons of shit to do so let's go let's go let's go <laughs> I'm, I'm still kind of the same way, because, like, my boss will stop me, and he'll be like, oh, let me tell you about my day. I'm like, I'm working. I'm working. I would love to listen to you. Can I listen to you and work at the same time? You're like, you didn't do this thing? I'm like, do it! The children doing the cooking. Yeah, the Master Chef Children's Edition or whatever. Master Chef Kids. It's like, I hope that show is still on when my, my kid is, like five or six or however old they could be like it's my protege <laughs> they could do my bidding she will hate me for it though I don't like playing the waiting game um Are you playing it? Girl. Well, I bought um, it's less for us to play. I have not gotten past like the first level. She's probably like, This is really hard. And she's probably like halfway through the game. It was on sale, it was like six uh, bucks. Yes, it's rising, the rising. Except like. One end is colder than the other, so I'm rotating them. They're still learning, and yet, in the likes of Hell's Kitchen, they should already know. Yes, they purposely, like, pick idiots. So, like, they find, like, seriously, they per they personally, like, they try to find people who are either, like, eccentric or crazy or, like, when I went to auditions, like, you know, a lot of people are, like, you know, I'm like, I'm very, like, yeah. skilled. I'm very, like, you know, good at what I do. I'm a very good chef. So you have, like, your actual, like, competitive, like, people who know what they're doing. And there's people who are like, I'm the greatest. And I work at Billy Bob's Pub. 
flip burgers, but I can flip like a hundred burgers at once. And those are the types they find. They try to find line cooks. They don't really find a lot of like like executive chefs and the executive chefs that they find like are just like oh my god you should have retired like 10 years ago not saying like everybody like they they do have like one person that they know that they one or two people that they know that they want to win that they will keep already from the beginning of the show so like they find like because the you win like something like five hundred thousand dollars and you get to work in Gordon Ramsay's restaurants. And there's this one girl, I can't remember her name. She was actually really good, and she's still, like, the chef at one of his restaurants in Vegas. Um, but most of them just take the cash payout, and then they bounce, because you have that option, too. You don't have to actually work for him. But it's like you take a lesser cash out or something like that. So, but they find, like, like two or three people that they're, like, these are our winners, so in case, like, someone drops out, because some people are just, like, screw it, and I, they walk out, you know? Um, and then everybody else is just the craziest people that they can find. Because <laughs> after the show, once you get kicked off the show, they send you to, like, rehab to to make sure that you don't go crazy, because they do, like, they only, like, you only get, like, maybe, like, four hours of sleep a night, um, and then you just, like... They put you through all these challenges and stuff. It's really stressed. He said he was young and he actually stopped because it was stressing him. Yeah. Oh, stop doing Hell's Kitchen? Like, how young? He wasn't that young when that came out. But yeah, it's uh, purposely stressful. Like, they purposely make it stressful. Um, Hell's Kitchen is still in Vegas, uh, the restaurant. My uncle used to work there as a bartender, actually. But yeah, I can imagine it's probably stressful for him, because I think he genuinely cares about these people. Like, he's not, like, a bad guy or anything. He, he comes from Marco Pierre White, who's kind of a dick. Mr. Women don't belong in kitchens, because who's going to lift the pots for them? Like, I could lift pots better than most dudes, so whatever. Our in Hell's Kitchen is Tio, Tio Pepe ads? What is Tio Pepe? That's... Like, I haven't watched um, any... I haven't watched it in a long time. We only got a few things left. I love Hell's Kitchen, but I hate Hell's Kitchen at the same time. Like, I watched the season that I was supposed to be on, and I was like, oh, I dodged a bullet. But they want people who can cook, but I don't know. I just like a drink. <laughs> that was like a drink? Well, not all of them <laughs> what? But, yeah. I'll have to look that up. I thought, you know what? I'd probably look it up over here. Yeah. Alright, we're gonna put this in the oven and then we're gonna start cooking in like 30 seconds here. After I Google what Tio Pepe is. Oh, it's a sherry. Uncle Pepe, named after one of the founding uncles, brand of sherry. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Okay. It's funny because I just bought some sherry. It is not Tio Pepe brand. Okay. Let's do this. I'm gonna do something kind of wild and crazy because I don't have my mister. No. Oh, yeah. We're just gonna squirt it right onto the hot plate. It's 
So, I guess that makes sense. I get sherry and asparagus. I don't know. I'll have to try that. Okay. We're going to set a timer. For 15 minutes. And then we're going to spray it again. Oh gosh, she's my sister. Looks like her husband bought another TV. So, how do I want to do this? So I have these guys here. I have this plate also here. Play it. And okay, so I think what we're gonna do. We're just going to shuffle a bunch of stuff around, but we are going to make our pickles now. So we don't want our pickles. So we have this here, and then we have this here. Just going to drizzle it all over. And we're going to mix it, so mixing our carrots. That's cool. That's really nice that he like talks to his fans and stuff. He seems like a cool dude. I like watching like he had like he has like really good Christmas specials and stuff like that. Okay. Mmm. So good. It's like summer. Mm. I miss summer. I miss summer so much. Oh. Yeah. This Christmas pudding is freezing. <laughs> I made I made figgy pudding for Christmas. I also make Yorkshire pudding for Christmas. It was great. I really enjoyed it. Oh, this is like really behind now. Why doesn't it love me? Why don't you love me? Thank you. I made a lot for Christmas. I did. I made a goose. I made a Christmas goose. I'm not doing that again this year. I mean, it was great and um, delicious. Uh, it was also like a $50 goose, so fuck that. <laughs> Maybe next year. I will just go on a vacation. <laughs> Eat someone else's goose. I don't know. God dang it. Not entirely sure. Son of a biscuit. Are you having a hard time? No, this is just one part. Well, I think. I knew you would. I got through the first part of the first chapter, the first room. <laughs> Yay. Yay. It only took me like 30 minutes. I suck. It, gets, it takes me a little bit to get used to, but it's fun. I have no mechanics. Yeah. No! <laughs>
This is the best $6.49 I ever spent. Yeah, because I'm, like, always I'm busy with it, and you don't have to... Hey, uh, bee worm. I'm doing very well today. How are you? We are waiting for our bread. I could turn this light on, but I don't think anybody can see it there. I think one time I tried to put, like, a camera. Not in this one. It was, like, in my parents' oven. Because you could kind of see, but... The reflection was just too much, I think. Awesome. I am excited for this. Soon. Ah. Sorry. Ah. Oh, that's cute. Thank you. I wash my Pizzi's hands here. Pizzi's hands. So we're waiting for our bread, which is like, you know, I knew this was going to happen. Hate doing sneezing. Man, I sneeze like all the time. It's just like allergy season is here, even though it's winter. It doesn't make any sense, but okay. Oh, yes, they are getting big. Big, big, big. We don't have any water bottles, do we, that we can, like, squirt things with? I thought, what is, I'm sorry, what do you mean by that? Like, the squirty kind of water bottles? Um. That aren't, like, filled with chemicals? No. I don't think we have any. I used to have that blue one, but I don't know where that's at. You fill the glass with nose running. Ew. Ooh, broke your ankle. Ouch. That's, like, awful. Like the worst. I knew a guy who fell off a roof and broke both of his ankles at once and he was in a wheelchair for like two months. Couldn't work. Which really sucked because he had like two kids and his wife was like a stay at home mom. Yeah, it really like fucked shit up. And he was I think just like a day worker so like he didn't have like any insurance or anything or any sort of like medical. He was just a freelancer, whatever. All I have for mental health in Scotland is Samaritans or NHS 24 if it's urgent. I had a steel pipe fall on my ankle. Ooh. Ouch. Uh, here in the United States, it's, it, if you don't have insurance, it's like $200, $200 a session for therapy in most places. Um, and if you are suicidal or just off the wall for whatever reason, psychotic, they just put you in a really dingy medical institution, which is really scary. <laughs> Zero out of ten, not a good time. Not a good time. How does the U.S. citizens even manage its nuts? We, uh... I don't know. <laughs> uh, there's people who don't take ambulances because they literally can't afford it and they'd rather die than... Yeah, because an ambulance costs at least $1,000 just for the ride. That's not including, like, any sort of medications or even, like, the hospital bill or anything like that. And even if you don't even, like, even if they're, like, they show up and they're, like, nah, you're good, you still have to pay the $1,000. They'll, they'll do that. Like, that, that's why they always say, like, if you have a friend who is suicidal, never call, like, the cops because they'll call an ambulance and then you're stuck with, like, a $1,000 bill. Which makes you probably even more suicidal. This bread smells really good. It's only $800 down in Tennessee for an ambulance ride. Oh, really? I don't, I don't know. I, it's got to be like $1,000 here. It really depends because it's company to company too. Because it's all like subsidized. Or if you have, if you, if it's like a 911 call, usually that's like the fire department most times, right? Um, they'll have private ambulance companies come out and get you. Most of the time. If I was. They'll have firefighters and stuff show up. $4,000 down. Yeah. Um, 
with my even with my dad's insurance well my dad's insurance was really good when he was in the hospital but if he didn't have uh insurance when he was in the hospital um it would have been at least like twenty thousand dollars just for the room fee that wasn't that's not including his surgeries any medications he got any of the doctor's visits like because you have to pay anytime a doctor comes to your room you have to pay for a doctor's visit which is like at least 60 bucks or something like that I'd rather pay with insurance like <clears throat> even with insurance it sucks like you would think like insurance you know like I mean yeah like he only ended up having to pay like nine hundred dollars of the twenty thousand dollars which is great but why does it cost twenty thousand dollars like it shouldn't cost twenty thousand dollars it's like not the prices aren't regulated so if the prices were regulated I think, and the insurance companies and the hospitals played to get like together, like it wouldn't be so bad. But since nothing's regulated as far as pricing goes, a lot of the time, like like aspirin, like out of pocket is like ten dollars a pill, which is like that costs like not even a penny. You know, you could get aspirin at the dollar store. Book is bothering me. <clears throat> You know, a lot of people think universal health care is the key. I don't know if it's... I think we need to take baby steps to that level here if we want it to work properly. We need to fix what we have. <laughs> EMTs and paramedics drive ambulances down here. Yeah, we have EMTs and that, and then we have the fire department also. Like, I think it... places have a fire department. Yeah. Yeah, he... I don't... Yeah, well, he's from Tennessee. It's I, still the same. So, like, the city will pay for firefighters and police to go out. Those are city paid officials. The ambulances usually are not. Like, ambulances, like, they don't typically have on staff. That's why, like, firefighters, you're required to be a paramedic as well. Yeah. Yeah. So that's why usually, you know, like I said, for if you get a call, the fire truck will come out, the police will come out. Depending on obviously proximity to an area, they will send out private companies if the city will get in touch and say, like, hey, we can't, we don't have people to go out there. Kind of a thing. Go yeah. out there. And you could charge them. Yeah. The whole point is obviously, like, you know, yeah. Then you'll pay for it. Because it's all, all the ambulances are privatized. Some of them are owned by hospitals, right? But well, most of them are. Still, those are that's a private company. Yeah, it's still a private company. It's not like, you know, again, like your taxes go towards uh, ambulances, which is weird. You just, you know, firefighters, cops, and then paramedics. And it's like, most of them, they all, they all like work for private companies. And none of it's regulated. I mean, I understand that you have to, like, pay the drivers to come pick your ass up and all that stuff. But, like, they're kind of like Uber drivers to hospitals. Okay. <laughs> you know? Well, like I said, dude, there's, it, it's so bad, people will deny, like, no, do not call an ambulance for And 90% of, like, and, well, not 90%, but a lot of ambulance calls are just, like, someone felt you're just transporting them. You're not... You know, I would say, like, maybe a small amount you actually are trying to, like, save their lives. Like, it's, it's, you know what? it depends no also what, where you're at, too. No matter what, it's a very typical job. It's oh, yeah. One that I do not envy. Even if it's just, like, I feel like, like, maybe once a week you have to deal with a shooting. That's still really shitty if you have to deal with shootings and shit. You deal with a lot of really messed up stuff. Which... I mean, which you don't have to deal with shootings if you live in, like, well, well New Zealand just had a shooting. <laughs> but, like, certain countries, they don't even have that problem. The best I can do is this squeaky toy.
yeah, don't end it up like us. It's it's like really like, you know, you call an ambulance will respond. Will respond unless they call for assistance. Oh. When you call, only an ambulance will respond. Oh, for like you know, what with your like okay, yeah, not here. Like uh, in Michigan, it's like. If you call, like, the police or 911, like, I know, like, for example, in Dearborn is, like, the worst. So anytime, like, there's a 911 call where they need an ambulance, they'll send an ambulance, a fire truck, and two police cars. <laughs> and it's usually, like, someone fell on a parking lot, and then all these people would show up. And then it's like, ugh. The government is stupid. Yes. Yes. Yeah, I'm sorry for you guys. You gotta deal with that Brexit. Bullshit. Mm. Uh, you know, like... You know... Like, it's so funny. Like, I think that's gonna be, like, the selling point to the elections this year is... Uh, well, they had that Medicare for All that Bernie is pushing. And I think that's gonna be a big thing because so many people have go into debt because of medical bills. And uh, it's really a nightmare really is um do i think he will succeed with medicare for all no <laughs> it will never happen and if it does happen cool i'll eat my words right but i don't think it'll happen not with like the current state of the congress at least uh not with like all these like insurance companies and medical companies in the pockets of all the congress people no. <laughs> I'm not an idiot. Park Tennessee. I'm a... Oh, ambulance are part of the state in, in Tennessee. Okay. Well, that's interesting. Up here, it's it's a it's a grab bag. But I know, like, every state's got their own... Like, we have um, our own medical... Like, kind of Medicare, Medicaid up here that anybody can apply for is called Healthy Michigan and that's like subsidized. Um, you just have to like, but you have to jump through a lot of hoops to get like the, their Medicare. Um, and you can't have an employee, employer that actually like gives you insurance either. So if your employer doesn't give you insurance or if you're like a freelancer, you can apply for it. Also, if you're pregnant in the state of Michigan, you get free health care pretty much. Um, for the most part, there's certain things you do have to pay for. And then, same thing for your child. Every child under the age of three is covered by the state of Michigan in their health insurance, which is pretty cool. But, you know, it's not like that all over the board. I do like the idea... This is, like, very conservative of me, I suppose. I do like the idea that every state comes up with their own kind of Medicare plan. I think that was like Mitt Romney's thing. Which at first I was like, that's stupid. But then I'm like, well, the federal government kind of sucks. So yeah, why not? Like the state seems to have more of a, like if my thing would be like, yeah, I think his idea was like, uh, the federal government would give like every state teach their own like, uh, money to go make these plans, but it never happened. Oh, tennis, most ambulance services down here are volunteer? That's crazy. Yeah, free healthcare is too far out of control. Here. So, like, is it just... Like, I feel like if you... Like, that's always, like, the thing with the government is always, like, we don't have the money, but it's like, well, where is this money going? Like, here in the United States is going to Trump's cronies. Before that, it was, you know, Obama's cronies. And before that, it was Bush's cronies. Let's not get it twisted. Every president gives their, you know, has their special people that they give money to. Um, but basically war. It just goes to our military. It's like, mostly our mil military gets, like... Like, 60% of, like, taxes go to that. It's like, great. Cool. 
Why? <laughs> <laughs> I keep telling my girlfriend she needs to be a streamer and she's like no no I wouldn't be a good streamer we'd have to get like mega internet if we were streaming if we both stream I have to get, get her like set up with everything oh my mainly volunteer firefighters as well wow Yeah, like, uh, what was it, um, where my grandma lives up in Six Lakes is, like, um, they have a, it's a volunteer firefighter. They have a really cool sign, because it's, like, these firefighters fighting a fire dragon, and that's, like, their, yeah, their logo. Yeah, like, a mascot. Yeah. Well, dragons are cool. I mean, <laughs> I'm just saying, <laughs> it's, it's cool. It looks really dope. It does. I'm not making fun of you, I'm just saying that was really cute. You're like, well, dragons are cool. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, like in the um the more rural parts of Michigan, it's more volunteer y stuff. Um, but I don't think the ambulances are. The ambulance is like where my grandma lives because I'm kind of stuck between like there's Grand Rapids on one side and then there's Detroit on the other. She's kind of like in the middle. But they just you'll just have to like my dad had a tree fall on top of him once, and my mom called an ambulance, and it took like an hour for them to get there. And he was fine. He had a concussion and blood coming out of his ears. It was actually kind of a funny story. <laughs> it's such a Polak story. It's like, uh, tree started falling down, and instead of running, like, stepping aside, he ran the length of the tree. But the ground was so soft that, like, you know, he, it didn't really squish him so much. And then my sister's boyfriend at the time lifted the tree, like, off of him. Because he had one of those, like... You know, my child is under a car moment. Lifted the tree off of him. It was a pretty good sized tree. And he was fine. And he, he was very pissed off because they cut off his shirt. Because, you know, they wanted to make sure he didn't have any internal damage or bruising or whatever. And, uh... Oh my god, guys. Are you kidding me? He lost his shirt. It was his favorite shirt. <laughs> only five paid fire departments near me in the restaurant the rest are volunteer wow um i live in a pretty suburban area i don't think there's any volunteer firefighters in wayne county at least i think once you get out of like the tri-county area past washington all, then it kind of gets more who knows? Oh, Monroe probably has, like, volunteer services because, like, six people live in Monroe. All six heroin addicts. No, I'm just kidding. Sorry if anybody's from Monroe, Michigan. Monroe is pretty. Uh, it's, it's, it's a nice county. There's just nothing there but meth. <laughs> I don't know why I'm, like, messing around with the oil in this pan. Well, there's the difference you live out in sticks. Yeah, I, I figured as much. Because, yeah, that's kind of how it is, like, here, like, you know. It's either that or, like, you know, you either get a volunteer or you wait till your house is burnt down for someone to come from the next county over. Because <laughs> if they just charge 100 pounds on your 100 call. <laughs> I thought the spread does smell really freaking good. It's looking like this is gonna be some good bread. I'm gonna give it another squirt with Squidward here. It really is helping it brown. 
Yay. Come from the next county owner. Somebody called for mutual aid. Yeah. Yeah. That's like the only like downside I feel like. I love to like live in the middle of nowhere. But it is scary. Like my grandma has been like oh my gosh. Like. The last fall she had, like, it, like, she has very brittle bones, and, like, her femur, like, went through her, like, um, leg. Like, she just, like, was trying to sit down, and it, like, snapped her leg, like, in half, and it was coming off. It was, like, oh, my God, like, the, the way they were telling me, it was, like, there's blood everywhere. And I'm, like, oh, Christ, grandmother. <laughs> She's broken her hip. Actually, there's agreement among emergency responders to lend assistance across jurisdictional boundaries this may occur to emergency response that exceeds local resources such as disaster or a multiple alarm fire. Yeah, but ambulances don't count here because they're all, like I said, they're all, it depends on like the hospital that they want to take you to. Like, they're all contractors, so they all have, like, dispatches. So, like, whoever's, like, working the 911 dispatch can just be like, well, we're going to call this company that we like. And if that company doesn't have anybody, then we'll call this other company. And actually, like, where we live around here is, like, there's a bunch of, like, they just, like, hang out in these, like, garages if they don't have a call. All right, let's make, let's finally make our tofu. It's just been sitting out here forever. Let's put the pan real hot first. You could call NHS 24 a thousand times in one night and it would be free. Well, that's awesome. Shoot, for my therapy appointment with insurance, I pay $85.50. If I didn't have insurance, it would be $200 just to talk to someone for an hour about my fee-fees. <laughs> You know, like, it's crazy. Or I can join Talkspace for uh, $200, like $400 a month or something ridiculous like that. It's, it's, it's stupid. And don't get me started, like, co-pays, lab fees, all of that stuff. I just sort of blank out when it comes to that. Cause, uh, yeah. It's like seeing a specialist, there's like a hundred dollars. Like, it's never cheap. The Tennessee dispatch sends an alarm directly to the ambulances. Oh, come to Scotland. <laughs> I should. I should come there. Anywhere, even Canada. Canada's got decent insurance, or not um, decent health care. I mean, their mental health care isn't that great, but hey, at least it's like better. Yeah, just like the uh, that's the thing is like people go into like they get cancer and then they end up going into debt, and it's just like. Why didn't I just die? Now I owe, like, all this money, and I'm... Like, my my ex-husband knew this guy who... He, he ended up passing away, but he uh, used to, like, flip houses and, like, rent them out, and he was kind of somewhat wealthy, but he worked at Home Depot, like, as a manager just for the health insurance, and he ended up getting cancer. And even with the health insurance, he had to sell all of his rental properties. Um, like, his kids, like, were, like, asking for cars and stuff for their birthdays. And he's like, I can't, like, give you this because I, you know, I have to work at Lowe or uh, Home Depot and, like, go through cancer treatments. And his kids were, like, all freaking brats. And then he, um eventually died even with all the treatments i mean but he went broke and his wife ended up divorcing him because she was like 
you know. It, it was just crazy. Let's see. I think these are done. It's like a half an hour. Yes. They're almost a little overdone, I think. But, oh, well, we're just going to let... Is that the baby? Yes. Woo! Here's our bread. Our daily breads. They do have like a strange sheen texture to them. I don't know how to describe it. I think it's like the little bit of rice in it. I'll let them. I should pull them off of there, actually. My great aunt telling me that they used to load somebody hurt in the back of a fix-up truck and meet them halfway. Yeah, I've heard of, I've heard stories like that. It almost looks like they're made of whole wheat. This one kind of just came out weird. I don't know not photogenic. This one is probably the one we're going to use for the photo. We'll put you on that plate since it's going to need a photo plate. Photo plate. Mm -hmm. What do you think? What do you guys think of this bowl? It's not perfect, but maybe I should have cut it deeper. Looks like I didn't. I'm just happy that it's crispy. Sometimes when I make bread, it doesn't always end up being so crispy. I think you have to have a certain type of patience with bread. You're just gonna need to sit here for a while. Put this away. I guess this one kind of looks good too. I don't know. I didn't get the shape right. Yeah, I probably should put a little more salt on it. Yeah, that's good. Ooh. Nice. I gained more of it than a sheriff's deputy. Yeah. That's what it's like out by my grandma's. It's, uh, like, yeah, we got the DNR. I'm gonna cut it. We're gonna let it rest for a minute, obviously. Hmm. 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 Yeah, it's not quite. Not quite. We could wait a little longer. I'm like, I don't want it to burn. Stubborn as an oak tree. Yeah, my dad was this, is the same way. Like, my grandmother was the same way, too. My dad's mom. The pie strack side. Oh, shit. That's my real name. <laughs> no, I'm going to be doxxed. It's not like it's all over the internet or anything. <laughs> we are almost ready to eat this. Excited. Just can't hide it. I can't forget the salami. 
Alejandro. Mm. I have chives too. Eh, maybe I'll use a chive. I'm probably going to use some chives with the pomini tomorrow. But I mean. What is this like? I don't know why this is not. And it's like burning and then I flip it and it's like, you know. I should have used a cast iron with it, but I have to clean that out. Mm. I don't feel like it. Uh, not smart to my grandmother. She tried to hit me in the head with a cast iron skin. Because <laughs> you got some good arms to be wielding that cast iron. It's awesome. stare at this bread that I want to eat so bad. It's so hot. It's like I should wait for it to completely cool and that's where I would get, go wrong. See, like, the, here's the thing. Like, you can see, like, it's just too much gluten. Maybe I need to overworked it a little bit. Oh yes, we have a we have a baby. We have a little baby. She's a little stinker and she's going through sleep progression and likes to wake up every five minutes. Ooh, I could go like this. Instagram. Oh no, it just shows me my Instagram feed. Beatrice. Beatrice Clover. Or bean or bean bag. Come crazy. I don't know. We come up with like nicknames, you know, for your kids. Or for people in general. It's like it's so you get the shape. It's warm. Nice. Keep you warm, you can put it in your uh shirt, keep you warm in the cold night. Load him up in the truck and drive him around in the field for a while. Yeah. I'm too lazy to do that. She usually, she, she usually falls asleep pretty well, but she's going through that whole sleep regression thing where they don't want to sleep. They just want to like play and hang out. Her favorite thing right now is Mickey Mouse Clubhouse.
strange urge to want to put mayo on this, but like... I just want to see if that, that's that's crazy. I think I know what I'm gonna do. I think I know what I'm gonna do. I don't think it's gonna be crazy to put mayo on this. Hog hunting tonight, and my youngest daughter's out back is on the on the porch coon hunting. <laughs> I forget like about hog hunting. We had some hot wild hogs here, and I meant to get like more sriracha, but. My girlfriend puts things down there, it doesn't stop me. <laughs> I'm like, I was just like, I don't know, will mayo be too weird for this? I think it's gonna be really good though. I don't really want to make like spicy mayo because I'm lazy. <laughs> okay. So how are we gonna build this sandwich? Oh yeah, you said that last uh, last week. Did I put? Or we'll do a half of them. That's pretty cool. So it hasn't been a really mild like winter for you guys. I'm assuming it. You guys always have like a milder winter anyway, right? I've only been to tennis. Once and it was hot as balls. Let's do this. Eight degrees right now. Damn. Yeah, we've had like a oh, nice warm. Yeah, I saw that you had um, your first snowfall. There is no snow here today, but we're supposed to get snow. All right, let's see this monstrosity here. Take some pictures. ingredient. What or I guess I could have did this like hoagie style as well. But I did it like a sliced. Oh, 46. Oh, you gave it to me as well. I was going to say a damn. Not, oh. We're at like 37 or something like that all the way right now. But we were at 51 earlier today. Yay, it went off. All right. It's time to take pictures for the gram. Do, do, do. I gotta build another one in a second. Let's like put this in like some of these guys or something. And I just throw things on the floor. Yeah. 
Mm. I don't know. I have some shit in the background. Boom. Ooh, better lighting. Wouldn't hurt either. That looks good. I can see the depths. Of uh, wow. It's not really behaving for me today. There we go. Uh, this probably looks really stupid on camera. I just need this for Instagram, really. And then, now I could take pictures with my regular camera. Which I think the battery might be dead, so... I don't know if this is gonna work. Oh, oh, oh! Battery exhausted. Yeah, I got this. I think I have extra batteries somewhere in a bag. I just have to, like, get that done. So she can knock me out with her two, with her boobs. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Okay. Well, I was gonna take some more pictures on the plate, but this will, this is fine. We don't need to take pictures on the plate. I'm gonna cut it in half for my own personal pleasure here, and then I'm gonna make one for my girlfriend. Probably bigger, better. I'm gonna take a couple bites though. That full on action. I didn't even work on my bread schools. No, oh, that's good. I actually double did the mayo and the. Um, just the mayo. Mm. <laughs> what you were tripping all day. <laughs> oh, come on. Turn sideways. There we go. Good dad joke. Hey, but the Fang is a resident uh, jokester. <laughs> I was kidding. Everybody can tell the joke. But I'm just messing. All right. That was really good. Once again, my bread is like meh. Could be better. I spilled one for my girlfriend though. It's got a really good flavor though, the bread. I'm not gonna lie. It probably would be better if I had let it not um, go so much. Or, um, what am I? No, I think the crispiness is there. It's just, I think I should have waited. Because it's still hot. Like, this one came out really nice here. And you boiled the hell out of it. Oh. Yeah, see, this one came out really nice. This is a good baguette here. This is American Q pie, by the way. Which is not as good as Japanese, but it is also half the price. So, like Japanese, like Cupid Mayo, I mean you get a lot, but it's like eight dollars, like a like a jar. Sometimes, sometimes you can find good deals on it. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> All right, see ya. Bye. Oh, yeah, I want to do this. I want to take an extra piece left. Maybe I'll, I don't know. I think I have, like, other pictures.
pictures of stuff that I made on stream that I haven't even like I'm just gonna shove this one on there that I haven't like posted on Instagram yet because I've been just really bad is that lunch no well I'm it's dinner because it's almost eight o'clock at night Sandwiches for dinner? Is that not a thing? You know, loading up on the veg is like really good. It is a veggie sandwich. So. I'm gonna put like too much cilantro. Just a shallot rings here. I guess you know what I could have done is like deep fry these. Maybe I'll do that tomorrow with these. I do some deep fried shallots. I have the salad that I want to make with beets. But I don't know. I don't want to get too ambitious because I'm making them. Um, when that might be a lot so hopefully it won't be um and I'll be able to not take all night to make it but the beet salad thing is gonna take me like about it won't take me that long because I have a food processor now so All right, let's do a host. I'm gonna put this on a plate. Put this on her. Oh shit! Should probably cut it in half first. It's a sexy looking sandwich though. Like damn, damn girl. That'll be Harris. Massive sandwich monstrosity. It's good though. Not gonna lie. That's like should be my like tagline. Not gonna lie. Put it on a shirt. Like so basic and weird. I don't know. Okay. to turn off the light. <laughs> that was funny. Alright, I'm gonna put these away and then we're gonna host somebody. Yay! Is it time for me to eat? Yay! This looks fantastic! Thank you. This is beautiful. Right, I'm gonna do a hose. Yeah. Hose is on. This is awesome, babe. Fantastic job. Mm -hmm. Thank you. My girlfriend says it's fantastic. <laughs> it's a behind the scenes action going on here. Oh Christ. Oh Christ. I don't know, who do I want to like? Cooking up a new life again? Oh, I know that that guy. Why am I still following this dude? I Not bet. cooking oh. up a knife, a new life, it's someone else. Someone completely. Plus what? What? Who? I 
completely veg today. Nice. Alright, where's he at? Are you escaping me? Yeah, me too. I need to go pee. Just, just in case any, everybody wanted to know, you know. No, I don't. All right. All right, kiddos. Okay, kiddos. This is, a, I believe, another bone-in person. There's a bunch of other bigger streamers out there, too. Check out. I uh, like, like uh, Mrs. Ruby. And, um... What's his name? Hunger Service. He's pretty dope, too. Alright. Peace out. Have a good night.